For many people in Kansas, internet access is critical to make it through the day at the job or at home. A project Wichita State is working on would improve access, reliability, and also affordability for getting internet across the Sunflower State. This week, the governor's office announcing $5 million to build the first internet exchange point in Kansas. New at 6, Sean Logging explains how it works and what it could all mean. Across the street from Wichita State's X Stadium is the planned location for a first in Kansas. A huge impact to access and affordability of connecting to content uh, and people and resources. Businesses depend on this. Tanya Witherspoon with Wichita State spent the last several years working to make this Internet Exchange Point or IXP a reality. Partnering with nonprofit Connected Nation, which will run the IXP, an important aspect is it will be carrier neutral or independent meaning a level playing field. No amount of money is going to pay, you know, for better traffic in any one spot. And IXP is a hub for internet traffic. For example, when you play a video, the request is relayed by your internet provider to an IXP, where internet content providers and services pay to have a presence. All of the internet traffic that we're calling right now goes out of state first. It hits some other state, Oklahoma, Texas. That distance makes it slower and adds costs. So with an IXP in Wichita for the local school district, it will be noticeable. A quarter of the cost of what we currently pay in bandwidth. And in the community, affordable and reliable internet is seen as a key for student success. Generally, a smartphone is uh, the main connectivity for a family in poverty. And that's not relatively adequate bandwidth. With the investments in rural broadband across Kansas, Tanya tells me those areas will likely see some of the first and best benefits, but it could also help to attract new businesses, especially those in tech. The $5 million the state is providing will cover the startup cost. In Wichita, Sean Logging, 12 News. The IXP does need the approval of the Kansas Board of Regents. They'll be taking this up at their next meeting. If approved, construction could start early next year with the Center fully operational by mid-2025.